Okay, welcome everybody to tonight's plan of opportunity. Um, I'm excited because this is the first uh, series, first presentation in the series where we have an invited guest. And we have Anthony de la Cuadra, somebody that I admire a lot. Um, we are the same age, but he's, he is uh, very successful in the business. He's 25 years old, and since the age of 22, he's been financially free. And the first time I heard his presentation was a few months ago, and I said to myself, I want to be like him. So tonight, I'm very excited that you agreed to do this presentation and share with us your story and why you are with SEN, Social Economic Networkers. So tell us about you, Anthony. Awesome, awesome. Well, thank you. Thank you for that introduction. And uh, thank you guys for having me on here. It's always a pleasure to talk to other English speakers as well. I know that going throughout this business, there wasn't as many when I first got started. There, it seemed like it was very rare and my Spanish isn't that good. So it's like, I speak like a gringo when it comes to Spanish. Like I was just at a meeting yesterday and my Spanish is all over the place. But at the end of the day, it's all about expanding the opportunity as much as you can and telling as much people as you can. So at the end of the day, I'm just gonna share with you my story, my presentation, and at the end of it, I like to do presentations in less than 20 minutes. So sometimes people like to do an hour. I don't, I can't, I can't stay for that. So I like to do it in less than 20 minutes. If you guys have something to do, you go and do it right after 20 minutes, you know? So uh, <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. So my name is Anthony, Anthony Della Quadra. And like I said, thank you for having me on here. And I'm going to really quickly share my screen. Let me bring this up right here. And the presentation. And my story basically starts off in Connecticut, right? Here in the United States, in Connecticut. That's where I was born. That's where I was raised. That's where my parents taught me, hey, listen, Anthony, you got to go to school to get the best grades, to um, succeed in life, and everything like that. So what did I do? I listened to my parents. I followed every single rule. Like yesterday, I was out with some leaders, and they were talking about how they were such troublemakers as um, teenagers and rebels and all this stuff. And I looked at them and I was like, wow, I didn't do any of that. I was a very well, like, like I listened to my parents, whatever they told me I did. If they told me to stay away from something, I did. I never was a party type. I didn't, I didn't do, I wasn't a normal teenager per se. So whatever my parents really told me, I followed and I did. So my dad was the most successful person I knew, a computer engineer making six figures in New York. So I really listened to my dad a lot. And my dad told me this. He said, Anthony, listen, you've got to get straight A's in school. Got to. Like every single grade, it doesn't matter. you got to get straight A's. That's what I did. Um, going towards the end of high school, I had about six scholarships lined up. And for me to basically go to school and study something that I wanted to study. But the thing was, a lot of times when you're 18 or 17 or whatever age you're at, when you're graduating high school, you don't know what exactly you want to study or what exactly you want to do for the rest of your life or what's your purpose in this life? What's your, what, what are you supposed to be doing, right? So I, I went to my dad. I was like, hey, dad, listen, like, I don't know what I'm going to study. Like, I could follow your path. I can become a computer engineer. I could, you know, listen to you and like, you know, follow in your footsteps. And you know what father wouldn't want their son to follow in their footsteps for the most part. And my dad told me this. He said, Anthony, listen, if I was 18 years old, right, this was back in 2011, he's like, if I was 18 years old in your shoes, I would do it all over again, but totally different. I would start a business. And when my dad told me that, that really threw me off. And I was like, okay, wh what do you mean? My dad said, listen, I started this business and I want you to listen because in this business we can make a lot of money and we can help a lot of people too at the same time. And at the end of the day, we're going to have a lot of time to enjoy it all. And so when my dad told me that, I said, okay, tell me, tell me about it. Cause I always listen to my parents. I listened to my dad and my dad started sharing with me this opportunity right here um, that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. And basically it's just called social economic networkers. It's basically an opportunity. Like I said, that my dad just started sharing with me and started really expanding my my mindset. He said, Anthony, listen, there's this industry called network marketing. Network marketing works like this. Like, let me tell you first about traditional marketing for you to understand network marketing. Let's say you have a bottle of water. A bottle of water costs maybe a nickel or a dime coming out of the factory. But when it goes through all those different middlemen, like the stores, promotion, wholesale, the celebrities that promote it on TV or the billboards, 
all of that, it goes from some five cents all the way to about two dollars, sometimes three dollars. If you go to a baseball game, maybe six dollars. It goes to a lot, right? So five cents all the way to maybe six dollars. So how does it get that way? Like I said, all those people in between have to make a profit, so they take a cut. Network marketing works like this. You have a product or service that comes out of the factory. The factory keeps their percentage, but then this product goes directly to the consumer. It goes directly to the person that's going to be using it and where that person can decide to possibly flip it over and make a profit with that and where the company can pay you for just promoting their product or service. And so when my dad told me that, I was like, okay, that makes sense. We're going we're, we're gonna to be in a sense the, the promoters of, of a certain product. And by doing that, we can make a good amount of money. My dad said, yeah, of course. That's how it works. That's what network marketing is. Now, my dad told me this. He said, listen, you're going to make a different type of income here. A lot of times people are used to linear income, which is 30, 40, 50 years of your life, you know, um, working, 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 trying to retire at the end of it all. Or you're working 8 to 12 hours a day. You're dependent on someone else basically paying you. You know, you're dependent on someone else giving you their schedule, um, your schedule, and all of that. So at the end of the day, you're either getting paid hourly or salary in linear income. But my dad said there's a different type of income. It's called residual income. And it's also known as royalties or passive income, where residual income is two to five years. You start building on a business. You start building on a network. So think about this. Think of your favorite musician. It could be, let's say, Michael Jackson. It could be Justin Bieber. It could be... Um, like I always like to use the example of Mark Anthony, you know, if let's say your favorite artist is Mark Anthony, how does Mark Anthony make money? Mark Anthony comes out with his music, his album, whatever the case is, and then distributes that music on different platforms to all of his fans. So all of his fans go out there and buy his product or service or listen to it, stream it, and he gets paid. Every time a song goes on the radio, he gets paid eight cents. Multiply that by all the time you hear his songs on the radio or whoever your favorite musician is, they keep getting paid month after month after month. And it's just like making money while you sleep if you think about it. Residual income is amazing, you know? In two to five years, imagine being, um, you know, like a musical artist. Let's say you're a musical artist trying to make it. Two to five years, you gotta give yourself time to really build out a fan base, build out a network of people that love your product or service. You could also do that with uh, an author. You can be an inventor. You know, create something that you can distribute to many people. You'll have a flexible schedule, one to two hours a day possibly, and you have unlimited income. You know, Mark Anthony can make as much money as he wants to. If he comes out with music every single day, there will be people that will consume the product or service that he puts out. So the thing here is my dad said this. He said, Anthony, I know you don't sing. I know you don't rap. I know you don't do any of that. <laughs> so singing <laughs> takes you out of it, right? And I don't know if you guys sing or rap or I don't know. I mean, maybe you guys are the next big star. But for me, that wasn't it. Two, um, writing a book. I mean, yeah, anyone can write a book and everything like that and become successful in that. But a lot of times people don't do it or a lot of times they don't have enough people that are buying their books, right? So that was gone, and at least for now. And then three was an inventor, you know, like invent something. But I was like, I, I've never invented anything. I don't even know the process of it all unless you guys invented something, but most likely you haven't. So those three options are gone to make residual income. Now, the thing here was that my dad said, network marketing actually gives you the opportunity to make residual income and anyone can do network marketing. And I was like, okay, perfect. So I obviously wanna make residual income, so I'm gonna do network marketing. And so my dad said, okay, hold on. So there's a company that we're gonna have to partner up with. Because imagine trying to come up with a product or service nowadays. Imagine trying to create a factory, have your employees. It's a lot of money. Unless you have a huge capital ready to get started and start your own network marketing company or whatever the case is, or your own product, that's too much. So we're going to partner up with a company. And the company we decided to partner up with is called For Life Research. For Life Research started in 1998, um, founded by a couple called David and Bianca Lisenby. And we have our CEO, Danny Lee, an amazing company based in Salt Lake City, Utah, a company that keeps on growing every single year, um, more than 20 years in the market, makes more than $200 million a year in profits, 
And it's a solid company. It's not going anywhere. Very solid, privately owned, and a company that is growing every single month in more than 125 countries. Now, what does For Life provide us? For Life provides us health products. Now, why health products? Because health products are something that each and every single one of us needs. If you think about it, if you don't have your health, you're basically dead. You're going to die pretty soon, right? So you need that. You need your health. And so why not start taking care of your health? Well, we have amazing, amazing products. Now, what makes our products amazing? It's all based on this patented molecule, a molecule that helps raise your immune system up to 437%. All natural, no side effects, uh, an amazing, amazing molecule that will really just help out your immune system. And when your immune system's strong, it'll take care of the rest. I've heard so many different testimonials and I've lived through so many different testimonials of people and of hearing them and everything like that. And not to say, I always make sure that I say this clearly, none of the products in 4Life cure anything or I'm not here to make any claims that it's a miracle pill or anything like that. Um, a lot of times these products, um, they help your immune system. At the end of the day, that's just all it does. It helps your immune system. And then your immune system does the job it's supposed to do. I have seen testimonials of people such as my mom. My mom had a hard time having a baby at the age of 43. Last time she had a baby was me when she was around 20, 21. And, you know, she had a hard time. Try to do the drugs, whatever the doctors recommended. She used me as the last resort, started taking the products from Poor Life. And in about three months, she was able to get her body to a certain level of health where she was able to, you know, conceive and have um in about nine months right that's when it usually happens have my baby baby sister jackie um and where today she's about one you know one years old and so it's something where the products work because they work i mean it helped out my stepmom as well and where she had a hard time having a baby and by taking the products and obviously eating correctly and everything else that you need to do um it also helped her at the end of the day too with her her process of having a baby as well and so like, I really personally believe that the products help out a lot of people and have, I've seen it personally when it comes to certain tumors or whatever the case is. And in my opinion, it's an amazing product can, that can really, really transform people's health. And we have a wide range of products, whether that's toothpaste, lotion, shampoo, conditioner, uh, protein, um, for every aspect of your life. Think of it that way. Whether you have a hard time going to the bathroom, we have amazing detox products. Whether you work out so hard, like I've been working out like crazy, and I've been really sore, so um, I have someone like massage some of the essential oils that we have, like Cool Touch, and it's like an amazing cooling effect, and it helps out with the muscle muscle ache. And not only that, but we have amazing protein that helps burn fat. Not only that, but we have also energy, zero sugar in it, gives you a natural boost to energy with no crash. And so, so many different products. You can basically just go back to the person that invited you and um, ask them about all the different products that we have and see which products could be a good fit for you at the end of the day. But at the end of the day, this is what my dad taught me. He said, Anthony, we use all these products anyway, so why not, instead of making other companies wealthy, why don't we take the products that we have in 4Life, consume them, and replace the items that we have at home for the items in 4Life? So instead of Colgate, instead of all that other stuff, we're using 4Life toothpaste. Instead of, I don't know, any GNC, right, like protein or whatever the case is, we're going to use the protea, protein that we have here. So all natural, no side effects, amazing, amazing products that are backed up by the PDR. We're going to use these products at the end of the day instead of using other people's products. And so that, that's what my dad taught me. And I was like, okay, that makes sense. Now, this is how the, the point system works if you're interested in, in making some money with this opportunity. So each and every single product has a certain amount of points to them. So for example, Transfer Factor Plus, the main product that you see right there, has 50 life points. That's how we call it, life points. So if you need a minimum of 100 life points every single month to pay your rent basically in the business, all you need is about two bottles of Transfer Factor. Now you can mix it up. You can get lotion, toothpaste, shampoo, conditioner. Like I said, all of them have different amount of points to them. Maybe the Too Faced has about five points to them, uh, the Protein 50 points. You just gotta add them up to at least 100 points. And if you do at least 125 points, you are basically in the loyalty program to receive the most benefits. 
at the end of the day. You'll get free products, you'll get points, all this different stuff that the person that, that invited you to watch this um, can explain a little bit more into it. But just understand at the end of the day, you need to consume some of the products, at least 100 points worth, and, uh, and at the end of the day, this is how you're gonna make money. This is what my dad taught me. He said, listen, Anthony, we're gonna find six people. Six people that want more time, want more money, or want better health. With those six people, we're gonna teach them to do the same exact thing we're doing, which is consume at least 100 points. So six times 100 points is 600 points times 2% residual income that the company will pay you is $12. $12 month after month after month after month that the company for life will pay you. Now it's going to duplicate. Why? Because we're going to teach those six people, which could have been friends, family, could have been strangers that you met and built up a relationship with. Those six people, we're going to teach them to find six people each, which could be on Facebook, which could be on their phone, different contacts that we can easily text, we can call, we can video conference, and just easily share the opportunity with them they're interested in consuming or building out the business, sign them up and have them consume at least 100 points if they want to do the business. And then right there, as you can see, in each level, you're going to be making more and more money. It just depends on the amount of people. Now, a lot of people say, oh, but Anthony, I don't know a lot of people. Well, in the beginning, I didn't know a lot of people either. But the thing about this business is that there's billions of people out there and it's just a matter of being able to make new friends, being able to also just contact everyone you can. And the person that basically invited you um, to watch this will go over that step by step and show you how exactly to do that. But at the end of the day, it's just about overcoming some of those mental obstacles that we have um, in order to get to some of those numbers that you see right there. And it's just building out the network. Same way that Mark Anthony probably started off with at least six people that loved his music, and then start expanding because those six people start telling more and more people about his music and then from there they're making more and more money at the end of the day you can make infinite amount of money with for life for life pays every single month every single day and it's not a problem of for life paying out it's more of a situation of how how much work are you willing to do in order to build out your organization now who's going to help you who's going to teach you well we have an amazing team um called the social economic and they're here ready to support you, show you every single little thing you need to know in order to build this out. At the end of the day, this is a team that helped me really start talking to people, that really helped me build my mentality, that guided me in the right direction, and started just letting me know that I'm not alone, right? And each and every single one of you guys that are watching this, basically just know that you're not alone in this business, that there's a team out here willing to help you, support you, and it's just a matter of you being teachable and ready to learn. Now, at the end of the day, um, when it comes to um, for life and the opportunity, you just sign up. The process is very simple now. You just sign up. You sign up with the company, and right there, straight ahead, you consume however much you want to consume. Let's say you want to be a consumer. You just consume whatever products you want to consume. Let's say you really want to build out this business, then you consume at least 100 points. If you want to start making money, you get at least one person to, to sign up under your code or your ID number that you'll get in the application process. And by doing that and having that person do the same thing you're doing, which is consuming at least 100 points, you'll be able to start earning money with For Life. And you'll be able to start really receiving all the benefits and really every single little thing that, that For Life really has to offer. And at the end of the day, it's just up to you. This is something I decided to do. This is something that you know, after that presentation that basically my dad shared with me, um, I was like, okay, I see something here. I, I really see a potential for me to make an extra source of income, whether that's maybe an extra 500. You know, maybe you're watching this and you're like, I only really need an extra 200 or extra 500 because that, that's as much as you can believe or an extra thousand dollars. Then cool, 4Life can provide that. But if you want more, 4Life can provide that too. It's just a matter of how hard you're willing to work um, and building out the organization. Same way that, like a musician worked their butts off trying to find people that love their music and sharing and exposing the opportunity uh, of, about their music, you know? Here it's all about sharing the opportunity and telling as many people as we can and working as a team to do it. And you know, four years into doing this business and where, you know, in the beginning I, I went to my mom because like I said, I had about six scholarships lined up and my top one being Syracuse University in New York. and 
after I really listened to the opportunity that my dad shared and really listened to, to what my heart was telling me to do, I said, wow, okay, I found an amazing opportunity here that I can make a lot of money and I can help a lot of people and I can travel and I don't have to be stuck at a nine to five job or at a degree that maybe I'll never get a job in. So I went to my mom, I'm like, mom, listen, I love you so much, but I'm not gonna go to school. I'm not, I'm not gonna be the first person in our family to go to college or whatever the case is or anything like that. I'm gonna actually call them and cancel my scholarship and everything like that. And I'm gonna start going full on out on this business because the way I work is I burn all bridges behind me and leave no options to go behind or go back or you know, be a victim. So I kept going forward. I was like, mom, listen, I'm gonna leave this because this is what I feel is the right decision. Not, not anything, nothing against school or anything like that. I just felt like that was a, a great decision for me personally. And then that's what I did. I, I did that. My mom was crying for days, but I said, mom, listen, it's gonna work out at the end of the day. And I got a regular job, full-time job, started working the business part-time, part-time, part-time. And four years into it, um, four years of, of really working my butt off, of really learning how to transform my mentality, of really just um, a lot of long nights, I really, really was able to get to a point where um, I was able to retire. And what do I mean by retire? I mean that today I don't have to work a nine to five job. I wake up whenever I want to, go to sleep whenever I want to. I have the ability to live anywhere I want to and, and really invest in money in different areas. And it's just an amazing, amazing opportunity that we have here with For Life and the Social Economic Networkers that allows us to have that opportunity to share this opportunity and have anyone do the same exact thing. So at the age of 22, I was able to leave my regular retail job and start traveling and helping different people out around the world. And that's what you can see on my Instagram. That's what you can see on my Facebook, all those different places that I've been to. And it's just been an amazing opportunity to keep on helping more people and help out my team and show them that them too can do it. And I always say it's all thanks to my dad that you can see right there on the left. Um, without my dad, I wouldn't be here for, for sure. There's many times I wanted to give up, but my dad was always there to um, guide me and, and show me the right, the right path. And, um, and all thanks to him, that's my success right there. And um, I'm forever grateful for him and later on my mom's support as well in doing this business. So without them, I, I wouldn't be here for sure. So I, I'm very grateful for my mentors and also especially my father for always being there for me and for my team, you know, all the people there that are supporting, helping in all the different areas. So at the end of the day, it's just an opportunity for you. It's a decision away. I'm not here to convince you. I'm not here to be like, hey, do this because, you know, my life like relies on it or the same thing with the person that invited you. None of that. We're not here to convince you. We're here to show you an opportunity. If this is a good fit for you. Perfect. If it isn't, perfect. At the end of the day, it's all going to work out. So thank you for having me share my story. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the airports around the world. All right, guys. Thanks. Hey. Thank you so much, Anthony. Such a beautiful presentation. This is when I heard you speak the first time a few months ago, I said, wow, I have to host my own presentations and I need to have Anthony present so my team can also get to know your story. Um, I, if you, I want to ask you a question, if, if you could share with the group. Yeah. Uh, what were the biggest challenges that you had when you first started and how did you overcome them? And this is going to be important for the new leaders that we have in the team. Yeah, um, for me, I would say it was my mentality, right? So I dove right into it and I was like, I really had this huge belief because we all have to deal with beliefs in our head and our blueprints that our parents taught us growing up or that we just learned from our friends or whoever's around us. And so my blueprint was always, um, I'm either not good enough to talk to older adults because they're probably going to look at me like, hey, this person doesn't know anything. They don't have any results or whatever the case is. So that was one of the hardest things to do too. Another thing was like speaking Spanish. I didn't speak Spanish and no one spoke English in the business. So I was like, ah, <laughs> and I started building my little English team and everything like that. Um, but I would say besides that, what everyone else can relate to is maybe, you know, hearing the rejections from the people closest to us. So I heard all the no's from all my best friends, from all my family members. The only people that really do the business is just my dad. That's my family. You know, even after I retired, no one else is still doing it. 
Um, it's because it, it doesn't matter the results. It it's, depends on their belief. And a lot of times that's what kind of sucked in the beginning. I was like, damn, I thought I was going to have so many people. So I thought my family, I thought my friends, thought everyone was going to do it, but no, no one's doing it. So I'm like, ah, what do, what do I do now? So now I have to go out there and meet new people. And, and I'm a really shy person at heart. And that's my blueprint. Like I never really like, you know, was a person to go out there or be outgoing. I was very shy. You know, if, if I don't have to do a presentation, I don't, I don't do it because I, I mean, I don't, I don't want to talk. I don't want to be the, the main um, attraction at the end of the day, you know? So that was something too that I needed to work on and, and get myself out there, talk to new people. And it all, I related to all the personal development because success is a mentality. Like it's, it's a mindset. So the books you read, the people you have around you, all of that stuff is going to play a huge factor if you're going to change those habits and things that you have in your life. So I would say it depends on the books you read. It depends on who you surround yourself around. If you have people that are doing the work, you're going to want to do the work too, or you're going to end up just quitting because you don't want to do the work, you know, either one, it's better to quit and then do that instead of just being here doing nothing, you know, go out there and do the business. If you're going to really do this or just go out there and quit, like, there's no reason for you to do the business. If you're not going to do the work. Mm -hmm. uh, do any of uh, the other people with me, Melanie, Hidayat, or Patty, do you have any questions for Anthony? Um, I was wondering about how many hours you work now uh, on the business every day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, currently right now, um, let's see, I'm, I'm studying more and everything like that. So I'm putting more like, I would say three to five hours three or five hours because I'm, I'm listening. I'm always learning. So I'm learning different strategies on how to prospect on things like that. So I'm watching videos all day and, and implementing it at nighttime with my team or, you know, doing presentations and things like that. And so I would say, you know, on a long day, maybe three to five hours on, on a normal day, maybe like if I'm not really putting in too much work because I have other stuff to do, then just maybe one hour, one hour here and there. Okay. And you said it was four years before you became like able to quit your regular job. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So in the four years before that, were you working the suggested one to two hours or were you doing more every day? So I was doing, so right after I got off my full-time job, um, usually you work the business, at least from my experience, like when people get out of work. So after 6 PM on six to 10, so like usually I was in meetings every single day, you know, just um, working in meetings, working in meetings, going with my dad, following my dad. Even if I didn't have people, I'd just follow my dad wherever he was gone. And he was, he was always active. He's always in the meeting. He's always doing something. So I would say learning in that process, I would, you know, give the same amount of time. I would say like three, five hours, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, about how soon was it before you had your six people? Yeah, so my, my story is kind of long. Um, my first year, I only had like one person, you know. <laughs> my second year, I had my second person. And my third year, that's where I had like my third person. And then like m towards the end of the third year, that's when I finally got to Diamond. <laughs> and then from there towards the fourth year, that's when I finally got to Presidential. And then that's when I retired. So like for me, it took me like, three, four years, like I would say four years, but it might as well put four years, you know, to really actually get there. And, uh, and yeah, my story is always the longest. My dad, it took him three months, you know? Mm. <laughs> so I was like, oh, what's wrong with me? Why am I not, you know? But it's just the process that everyone goes through. Yeah, yeah everybody has a different process. We hear stories in Bolivia. I'm more familiar with the team in Bolivia. We have people who achieved the first level in, in one month, other people who did it in three months, other people who did it in five months, other people who achieved the third position in five months. So it, it varies from person to person. What matters is your beliefs, like Anthony said, your mindset. How, how is your personal growth going? And then how much belief and input you put into your business. Mm -hmm. so, from person to person. Do you think that it was a challenge you, that you you were relying mostly on your English speaking to find your people? Yeah, I mean, I would say especially in the beginning um, because there, there was nothing really set up um, necessarily in English. 
And so oh, yeah. I had to make my own tools. I had to do all that stuff in the beginning. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, like still, I have a team that's still mainly in English, you know, and, and some people obviously in Spanish too, that, you know, through the process, my dad helped me out with, with some of those leaders. And, but really I just started, you know, breaking the mold. Everyone wanted to do Spanish, 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 but I was like, no, nah, I want to do English. So I just started doing that. You know, it took some time. It's going to take time. Like my mentor was saying in an audio yesterday, he's like, why aren't people sign signing up? Someone asked them. And he's like, well, listen, everyone has a process, whether it was like the Wright brothers that were trying to build the freaking airplane and like took like 15 years or something like that. Or whether it was like uh, Nelson Mandela, he was like 27 years in prison, you know, before he became like the president and started doing some big stuff, you know, and all these different people that have success. And a lot of people in network marketing too, if you notice, a lot of the big, big leaders, they've been doing network marketing for more than 10 years. So it's like a process that really takes you to get there. But, you know, to make an easy 200, you know, to a thousand dollars, it's easy to do a network marketing. Uh, if you want to make more, that's where like the work really comes into play. You know, you have to really build your leaders out. Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much, Anthony. I really appreciate your time. I know this is precious time for you and you uh, spend this time, this hour with us. So I really appreciate it. Um, I'm going to stop recording now. So uh, thank you so much.